my name is Voland and welcome to another Let's Play of Rome Total War. This time I am playing as the Greeks. This is my second Rome Total War Let's Play after the Numidia campaign. I am going to be playing on very hard, very hard, of course. I will have manage all settlements enabled, no arcade style battles. Follow AI characters I'll have enabled because that's useful. And I'll have a battle time limit and a long campaign. I'm playing using Darth Mod 9.0.1 and on huge unit sizes and on full graphic settings. That's just about it. If there's anything else, I'll remember and say it after the cutscene. This is the description if anyone wants to read it. For the sake of saving time, I won't. I'll let you guys do it. And that's it, I'm gonna start now. Greeks could rule the world. Alexander did. He took a Greek army to the Far Indus. There was nothing left to conquer. The world was his. But Alexander is dead. His empire is gone. And so we live in evil days. The three men of Greece have turned on each other instead of their proper enemies. Those who envy all the Greeks have done. Alexander must weep, if the dead weep. I would weep in his place, but I would also hope. The world turns. What was may come again. The fates still spin the web of men's lives. So now, perhaps the gods wish Greeks to be great again. Perhaps a new Alexander will take up the sword. Bring order where there is chaos. Remake the world of men to a better plan. Perhaps. This was the original faction I wanted to play as, the Greeks. This is probably my favourite faction. I've always liked the Greeks, even the mythology and all that shit. It's always been interesting. Yes, Alright. As I said, this is my second Rome to War campaign. The first one I did was as Numidia, and if you're wondering why that is, it's because I was challenged by a friend. I wanted a difficult faction to play with first, and we challenged Ready. each other. He played as the Hyazdan and Europa Barbarorum, I played as the Numidians in Darth Mod. His name is Alpha Pi Omega, if anyone is interested. He also does Total War, he almost exclusively does strategy. So if anyone's interested, I'll leave a link. Alright, so let's start then. First of all, I'm going to have a look at my family tree. Cleomenes of Sparta, who is 56 and the faction leader. He is quite capable. He is a Spartan. Then the faction heir, his son, 34 years old. Somewhat less capable, but still decent. Antigonos of Sparta, Eumenes of Sparta, who is a good administrator, 5 management, Memnon of Sparta, who is just like his older sibling, and then we have Agamemnon of Sparta, who is 18, who is probably going to be a good administrator, which is what we need because we have a lot of trade to optimise. Alright, so first of all, I'm going to have a look at the units. Well, I'm going to comp compare the units. They're different from in vanilla, slightly, I think. Alright, so we have hoplites. Hoplites and traditional hoplites seem to be similar. The only difference is one has... Traditional hoplites have sh short spears and they have higher attack over defence. So there's a trade-off between having shorter spears, you have higher attack and lower defence. And likewise with the armoured hoplites and armoured heavy hoplites. Armoured heavy hoplites have shorter spears and less armour. And then there's the Spartan hoplites of course. So that's interesting, I'm, I'm not really, I've hardly played using phalanxes and Darth Mod at all. So I'm not really sure about the mechanics, what's changed. Oh, we also have Militia Hoplites. 
Yeah, that's the governance building. And militia hall plates. They, I think they suck. Yeah, they have the exact same upkeep as normal hall plates, except they have shit stats. The only thing they have... Wait, they won't. They're, they're just crap, overall. So militia hall plates are a unit that I am never going to make, because they're just inferior. Well, I might make them if I can't make anything else and I need that unit. I don't care about the quality, then I'll make them, but they just suck. Alright, we have... This guy here, I'm going to put in Athens, because Athens, I think, is going to be the most important town for trade. And down here, Antigonos is going to go into Corinth. These pill tests, I might disband these. Cretan archers, we have a unit of Cretans, so I'm going to send these to Athens. Which is the front. And I'm going to disband these pill tests. Likewise, I'm going to send the Spartans to the front. And these Peltas I'm also going to disband. I might make more in the future, but right now they're not worth the upkeep. I need all the money I can get. And on Kedonia, which is Crete, I'm going to disband these Militia Hoplites. Put the taxes down to low, make a governor's house. And then I'm going to have these wait at the port, I think. Because they're just useless sitting there, they're good units, and I don't want to waste them. We have a spy who is 30 years old and he already has a grey beard. Um, on Rhodes. Memnon of Sparta. Right, I'm going to have these hot plates and Rhodian slingers join up with them. And then I'm going to recruit Rhodian Slingers, Cretan Archers. I'm going to put them on the Navy, the fleet. And then I'm going to dis disembark and attack, attack the Seleucids at Halicarnassus. This is going to be an important town. It has a wonder, the Mausoleum, which reduces construction times. And then there's the Temple of Artemis, which is held by... Sardis up there, and I'm also going to take that. My lord. I'm going to have the spy head up to Macedon into position. and keep an eye out for any Moving. aggressive forces. Yes, These units here, though, I really want to make use of them. Ready. Yeah, I'm going to send this fleet down here. Yes, Captain. Yes, I'm going to board, Stratigos. and then I'm going to disembark on the mainland. Of Greece. Yes, sir. Well, I can. Yes, sir. Out of move, sir. Yeah, I don't want to just have loads yes, of phalanxes, even though that's what Greece does best. I want some variety, at yes, least. Tradigal. All right, we have Onward. Syracuse. I'm gonna make some traditional hoplites here. Alright, and I'm gonna make a temple, a shrine to Nike. Let's have a look at the temples actually, that's something I need to do. So we have the shrine to Athena, which gives law, mostly. And then we have the shrine for Aphrodite, which gives growth and happiness, I think. But I think it also gives bad traits to generals, governors that are in the town. Likewise with the Temple of Hermes. I would normally make the Temple of Hermes in towns where there's a lot of trade, but I've recently learned that it gives governors very bad traits that makes them epicurean and greedy, so that's something I'm going to refrain from doing for once. And then there's also the Temple of Nike, of course, which gives troop experience. In addition to some of everything else. So the Temple of Nike and the Temple of Athena are think I think are gonna be the two main temples I'm gonna make. Syracuse is the only town other than 
Sparta that can make Spartan hoplites. And it's been like that through Vanilla and Darth Mod. So I'm going to make a temple of Nike here and a temple of Nike here as well. And then in every other town I think I'm going to go with Athena. I really need money. That's mostly why I disbanded so many units. I'm going to send two of these units up north. I might send an army towards Macedon. Preemptively attack. Yeah, I'm going to do that next turn. My lord, hard word. What is, sir? My lord, my lord. Yes, Stratigos. Yeah, so these guys for now will go here, and I'm also going to send another unit to this army. So we now have a six hoplites plus Spartans and Cretans, and. Over here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make a lot of money over the next few turns. I'm gonna try and have a mix of traditional hoplites and normal hoplites at first. And then if one turns out to be superior then I'll I'll be biased towards that for the rest of the campaign. I'm gonna cycle through now and check for construction. Actually, wait, that's something I need to do. I need to make ports everywhere. Yeah, that will see an increase of about 370 here. And over here, it will see an increase of 340 or something. Yeah, money is something I really need. We have low taxes everywhere, at least. Yeah, that's good. Now, I think we're going to be attacked quite relentlessly on Sicily. Yes, that normally happens. Well, it did in Vanilla. It probably will still happen. So I'm making units down there. I'm going to disband these Peltasts. Archers are useful even though they're somewhat obsolete compared to Cretans. Let's see what range units we have. We can make Blisters, Onagers, Heavy Onagers, Heavy Peltasts. We can also make the best blacksmith. Yeah, the Greeks are quite advanced culturally. They can also make moderately good roads, the best academy, good farms, aqueducts, a decent... Yeah, they can make good docks as well. Yeah, the Greeks don't suck. Well, they were. The Romans did cop them after all. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with Athena by default. I might make some temples to Hermes and Aphrodite, but not yet. I'm probably gonna be attacked as soon as I end the turn here in um, Turkey. I'm not sure though, probably. If they don't, then they'll probably end up being raped. Yeah, they'll just gradually attrite down to nothing. And then I can just walk in and take the town. I'm wondering if I should vacate both of these towns completely and just make one massive army and overtake the, the Macedonians. I don't know if the Brutei will land right down here though in Sparta because I've never... I did play a few campaigns on Vanilla and they never did that once, so I'm not sure Sir. if they will do that. Anyway, I'm lord. going to take the risk, I'm going to send all my troops my up here Sir. to attack Macedon. My lord. March. Yes, March. It, yeah, we now have a formidable force here. Moves Although should I disband and then focus on making high quality troops with 2 XP? I'm not sure. I don't think there's much left for me to do at the moment. Yeah, my economy is not in a good state right now. I might have to take both of these towns before I can do anything drastic. Before I can do some serious construction. Economic development. Alright, I think I've done everything, so I'm going to end turn. I'm probably going to have to fight a couple of battles. It depends what happens down here. 
Alright, let's go. Yeah, the solutions are attacking. They're sallying forth. So they have four units of long, very long spears, phalanx pikemen, a unit of peltasts, cretan archers and rodin slingers. So we have slight missile superiority and they have overwhelming melee superiority. But they have no cav whatsoever and I have one unit. 